Hey guys, big confession, I am a virgin when it comes to foldable devices, but I have been spending some time with Samsung's latest foldables, actually using them on a day-to-day -day basis, and both the Z Flip 4 and the Fold 4, they offer something very distinct from each other. Now, despite the title, this video is not really about putting down one in favor of the other. I'm also not going to go into so much detail about their specs because a lot has been said about that topic already. They're IP68 water resistant, more durable screens with Gorilla Glass Victus Plus, slimmer hinges, and we already know that the seam is still there. It's still a byproduct of foldable screens. You will notice it whenever you're swiping or just looking at the screen from an off angle. All of that is just regurgitation from this point on. This video is just about me stating my observations, having used these devices every day, and hopefully this will help you in your purchase decision. I usually review earbuds, but if after watching this video, you want to see more phones related content from this channel, get subscribed and tap the bell button to stay notified of new videos. First, I want to talk about user experience. Regarding the Z Fold 4, yes, it's far more expensive than the Flip, but what you are getting here is actually two distinct experiences. When it's unfolded, like what we have here, it's essentially a tablet with an almost one-to-one -one aspect ratio. I love that because I can see more and do more in my apps. And for me, this wider aspect ratio is perfect for multi-window screen. I feel that multi-window works a lot better when the apps are side by side. That way, it lets me see a lot more rather than top and bottom. I also love that new taskbar at the bottom, which the previous version didn't have. It's a quick overview and a shortcut to some essential actions. Something like a desktop experience, but when it's folded, the front screen interface just feel like any other Android device, only that the aspect ratio is a lot taller and skinnier, which is great because this way I can easily type with one thumb. And if you're outside, half of the time, I guarantee that this is how you're gonna use it because it's more convenient taking this out of your pocket, using one hand to unlock the device and start using it right away rather than both hands like this. And this is when I get annoyed with it because when it's folded like this, it's quite hefty and in my pocket, it feels like a brick. And there were several close calls when I'm pulling this out of my pocket, this thing almost dropped. So I always try to make sure that I'm gripping it extra tight when I'm taking it out. Typing in one hand should have been easier because of the aspect ratio, but the weight, the bulk, and the fear of dropping it makes this experience more tricky. That's annoying. This is why I prefer the Flip 4. It's a lot easier to use just one-handed, and you still get a little more screen real estate on the sides, which makes it more comfortable to hold for gaming and watching videos. Speaking of gaming and watching videos, you will get a much better experience with the Fold 4 from an audio perspective. It's got a bit more low end and gravity to the sound. While the Flip 4, yes, it sounds loud, but also much more teeny by comparison. to the Galaxy Buds 2, the Buds Pro, but how do they compare to popular earbuds from other brands? In terms of active noise cancelling, these are pretty effective and quiet. One of the best... Also, when you're playing games with the Fold 4, you do get to use the whole screen. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean you get to see more, because when it scales up this much, the sides do get cut off, but it does blow up fine details which could be an advantage if you're playing a competitive game like COD Mobile. In terms of shooting pictures and video, the Fold 4's camera setup is definitely a lot better than the Flip 4. It's got more cameras, including a 15 megapixel wide angle, and when shooting pictures and video, it's able to resolve more detail in the shot, even in darker environments. Most of the time, I wasn't even shooting in 15 megapixels. 
but even so, pictures appear a bit more vibrant and clean than on the Flip 4. I am now shooting with the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 at 0 0.6 times. This is one time zoom, three time zoom. Okay, as you can see, the stabilization seems pretty decent. This is the Galaxy Z Flip 4 at one time zoom. I'm walking, just walking casually. Okay, let's hop out to 0 0.5 times zoom, the ultra wide. Seems like there is a little more jitter, but it's still pretty smooth. The footage is well under control. When shooting videos with the front camera, it's also a lot less grainy than the Flip 4's front camera. Okay, I'm now recording with the Z Flip 4 on my right hand and the Z Fold 4 on my left hand. Same background, same distance. And yeah, this is what the picture looks like from the front camera shooting video. I'm also noticing that stuff shot on the Flip 4 also looks a little more washed out than the Fold 4. So if you're looking for great camera performance, I prefer the Fold 4's camera. But the main appeal of the Flip 4 isn't that it's got great cameras, it's that you can prop it up easily, no stand required. And that means more creative angles that you can play around with for your Instagram stories and TikTok. You don't even have to ask somebody to prop it up for you just to make your shots look more interesting. But the main reason why I prefer the Flip 4 personally is its portability. It's more discreet and it doesn't look so ridiculous when I put it in my pocket. It's lighter so it's easier to use one-handed and I'm less likely to drop it. Now, there are users who will want a foldlet, a folding phone tablet, for that extra screen real estate, especially for business use because it is a much better multitasking machine. Sort of like the Nokia 9500 that I used to want as a teenager. Do you remember those things? No? Well, that's because even when, back in the early 2000s, when we desperately needed bigger, better screens, not everyone will want to or can carry something so bulky and heavy in their shorts. For me, to want to use this on a daily basis, it has to be way thinner and lighter than it is right now folded. Otherwise, I'll be happy with an actual tablet. That is why the Flip 4, for me, makes much more sense. But what do you think? Will you pick the Fold 4 over the Flip 4? Leave your comments below. Thanks for watching. Smash like and share if you like this video. If you want to see more videos from me about these devices, get subscribed and tap the bell button to stay notified of new content. A big shout out to my Patreon supporters as always. You can also join us on the world's most popular gaming chat app, Discord, if you want to hang out or chat. Link is in the box down below. I've also reviewed the Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus. Click here if you want to watch that video or watch another video from this channel.